the chemistry lab, you will need to measure the mass of samples. We have two types of electronic balances used for this purpose, analytical balances and top-loading balances. In your first two quarters of chemistry, you will only use the top-loading balances shown here. To start, inspect the balance for any mess left by a previous student. If necessary, use the provided brush and dustpan to clean the balance and surrounding area. Ask your lab instructor where to dispose of this waste. Amanda, where should I dispose of this waste? For this lab, in the trash can is just fine. Next, ensure that the balance is on and that the correct mode has been chosen. The upper right hand corner of the display should show G for grams. Use the mode button to cycle through other units back to grams if necessary. The other important button on an electronic balance is the re-zero or tear button. Pushing this button resets the balance to zero. Now, before measuring your sample, place a piece of weighing paper or a weigh boat on the balance to protect the surface. For most labs in your first term, weighing paper is just fine. At this point, hit the re-zero button to zero out the mass of the paper. Add your sample and record your measurement. If you accidentally add too much, do not return excess to the stock container. Instead, Remove the excess solid to a piece of paper and dispose of it in the appropriate waste container. The electronic balance reads out the correct number of significant figures for you, so record all digits listed on the display. When you are done, close any containers and return them to the prep bench. Make sure that you clean the balance.